Welcome tech enthusiasts to our channel Fast Cabling. So guarding your outdoor network against the unpredictable forces of nature requires more than just cables and connection. It demands a strategic shield against environmental element. So join us today on a journey to unveil the secret of securing your outdoor network setup, turning vulnerability into opto opportunities for resilience. Just like this. And here we have a live video. Also, you can explore our world of innovative solution on our website. From cutting edge gadget to transformative tech solution, your journey to the future starts here. So visit our website now and step into a realm where possibilities are limitless. And embrace the future, click and discover. So establishing a robust outdoor network requires navigating a variety of environmental challenges that mother nature throws away. Network exposed to the element where search, rain, extreme temperature, dust, and humidity are the adversaries. And surges like electrical storm can disrupt operation in the blink of an eye. Rain poses the risk of water damage and extreme temperatures can push equipment beyond its limit. So it is a dynamic dance with nature and understanding these challenges is a key to fortifying our network against an ever-changing outdoor landscape. So by acknowledging these environmental factors, we can pave the way for resilient solution. So here are some of the considerations that we need to keep in mind when selecting outdoor network device. Waterproofing. Use weatherproof enclosure, cable glands, and seals to safeguard your devices and connection against water in grease. Grounding. Proper grounding is crucial for preventing electrical issues, ensuring the safety of both equipment and personnel. Sunlight exposure, shielding electronic components from direct sunlight to prevent overheating and damage. Install sun jets or choose equipment designed for outdoor use with built-in sun protection features. Temperature considerations, choose devices with a wide operating temperature range and ventilation to regulate temperature within enclosures. Corrosion resistance, Outdoor environment may expose equipment to corrosive elements, so opt for material and coating that are corrosion resistant to prolong the lifespan of your equipment and maintain its functionality. And last but not least is the protection of power source. So behind me is our setup for today. We are going to use this 300 meters fiber optic cable to connect with a PoE switch to search protector and a bullet camera and a wireless access point. Wire fiber optic cable are immune to electromagnetic interference and typically do not require search protection. However, the power source must be adequately protected. And let's do the connection together. We have the SFP transceiver here, and we are going to plug it into our WebSmart PoE switch. This is our four-string fiber optic cable, and it's pre-mated, so we don't need to worry about the connector. And it's 100% tested in the factory. Let's use string A. Each of the string has a letter on it. So plug it in here, and everything is already connected including the router and VR and the monitor. Coming over here, the 300 meters fiber optic cable. And now we can see our surge protector. As you can see, it has a weatherproof enclosure, also a holder to press it down so the water won't get in. Since we don't have enough space, that's why we didn't put it on. And now I'm going to take it out. Here we go. Inside, we have the surge protector. Now, this is the protection against voltage spikes. Next to it, we have the air surge. 
This is the protection against current overload. When the current exceeds a predetermined threshold, the air switch will disconnect the circuit and interrupting the flow of electricity. And both devices play a critical role in ensuring the safety and reliability of electrical system and the devices connected to it. The 300 meters four string fiber optic cable is coming in through here. As you can see, we have all the string here and we are going to connect to the connector and use a fiber patch cord to connect with the switch. Also, the power supply is going in from the back to our air switch. And we have another pair of the cable connected to the surge protector. And here is the grounding connected to the surge protector, also along with the power supply and connected to the earth. This is the power supply connected to our power output. And they are going to go all the way through this output port along with the fiber optic cable and the power supply all the way to the PoE switch. Now this PoE switch has an IP67 waterproof rating and aluminum IK10 vandal proof rugged metal housing. This is the rubber seal around the enclosure and it has a wide range working temperature from minus 30 degrees up to 60 degrees, which is ideal for harsh outdoor or industrial use. And also you can apply let me screw it out. The weatherproof cable entry gland to seal the opening where a cable enters the switch enclosure. And you can see the rubber seal here. Put it in. Make sure you use a wrench to fasten the gland tightly to prevent the entry of water or liquid. Some PoE switches are designed with ventilation opening for heat dissipation, but then the moisture or water may have chance to get in. So we have this special heat dissipation outlet. It allows the moisture to get out, but prevent the water to get in at the same time. So this is the fiber patch cord. We are going to use the SFP transceiver to plug it into the SFP port and connect the fiber patch cord to the switch. This is the power supply, it is already connected, and the grounding cable as well. Plug in two Ethernet cables since we are connecting to two devices. Coming over here, we can see the devices are connected. The wireless access point is getting the power and data as well as our bullet camera. So going over there to the monitor, we can see the video footage is already displaying. And I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video. So the whole connection is done now. And that's all for today. If you like our video, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. Also, you can share it with your friends or family who may benefit from it. So thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you in the next video.